recently, just a few days ago, the Cardinal of Vienna, Austria, Cardinal Schonborn, allowed for the uh, second, is it the second performance? How many? The third. The third. So this year it shows it's a concert and you can you can't see it, Alexander, but if people look on their screen now, I have a picture of this uh transsexual transvestite named uh his stage name is Conchita Worst. He's got a mink coat on and a bunch of makeup and beard and he's singing songs. There's people with wearing black and they got their red ribbons on. And uh this is the performance that went down. So there you go. Now the thing from last, the last year though was it, was the Everyman last year? Um, yes, yes, it was last, last year. year. Yeah, that's the real bad stuff. That looks like a rave, and it's got all kinds of, you know, like scary, last year was like a guy taking his shirt off and a beer bottle on the altar rail, and he's standing on the altar rail, and there's a drum set by the altar, and everything here is real bad, Alexander, real bad. There's yes. a person with devil horns. I guess that's a d demon. I don't like this. I'm showing them thi uh, this year's concert, and then I'm showing them last year's Everyman uh, thing. So basically, Alexander, you know him because he threw the Pacha Idols in the river that were in uh, Santa Maria Transputina. And he organized this rosary to protest the stuff going on at the cathedral in Vienna, Austria. Now... The cool thing about it, Alexander, is that Archbishop Vigano wrote a letter. I met Archbishop Vigano. Um, I met him. He's hidden, and he's hidden, and he has to, has to change where he stays. So I had the, a special possibility to meet him. And we, I even have a picture of it, and I will send the picture through my uh, through my uh, newsletter. So if you have already subscribed to Boniface Institute newsletter, you can see it. And let's go ahead and plug that now. Boniface uh, dash. dash institute minus uh, dash institute dot com. So what I have to tell you now is that um, that Bishop Vigano called me through the, the number of another friend of mine and told me that he wrote the text and that he sent it to me in Italian. And I sh uh, put it to our translator and she translated it in German. And now it is also translated in English, so it's 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 now you can all read what's in it. And I read parts of the letter um, in front of the cathedral too. Not everything because it was very long, and I and the first uh, paragraph was not about the prayer in front of the cathedral. So I only read the last part where it is about the prayer in front of the cathedral. But it was such a relief because what we see here is 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 something very interesting. Our cardinal invites the people. Who, who who do a rally against the Catholic truth, against the, the rules of God, and for something which is really bad and wrong. And other bishops all around the world, and also a few cardinals, do the opposite and really try to defend the faith, especially this courageous archbishop. He is really, I think he's such a courageous and wonderful man. I can also tell you that he... He, when I was there, he celebrated uh, celebrated the Tridentine Mass for us, so it is it was really wonderful. And he's such a pious and humble man, and he gave us this big this big support. And I'm so thankful. I really am so thankful. I, I really think he's one of he's one of my heroes because he he uh, put you know he when when he came out, the facade of all those people really crushed. He oh. he really managed to to show us the real face and at the same time stay humble and catholic and that's exactly the way we, that's exactly the way we want to go our way must be a way of 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 being humble being catholic being um, there for the others care for the others try to really get everyone we see and we meet into heaven that's our goal our goal is to put our soul and as many other souls as possible into heaven and we cannot do that god can do it i'll do it and he gives us the possibility to do that too if we want to be his tools so our main goal is always to be tool of god and archbishop vigano is a tool of god and you can see it because he stays clear he stays courageous he stays true even 
in the face of people trying to to kill him, as threatening him to kill him. And uh, unfortunately, the people threatening him to kill him are uh, from all over the world. They are not they are not what many of us think. They are from all over the world. So it is very important to see that. And I really wanted to thank him, and I'm so glad. And it gave me really it gave me power. And what gave me power too is something you might not recognize uh, from America, but for us in Austria, it's wonderful. So many Austrian priests and Austrian parish priests even and faithful wrote me letters and told me I cannot come to the prayer because I have this and that, which I understand. It's Saturday even, it's Saturday night, especially for a priest of the countryside who has to celebrate in the early morning on Sunday. It's okay. And they told me I'm going to pray with you at the same time. So I know, and now comes a wonderful number, we were more than 120 people uh, in front of the cathedral, but more than 1,000 people praying the rosary. I promise you right now, I see it in my generations, good people coming up, going to Mass, going to traditional Mass. And now I heard today, what I don't want to, 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 to um, hide from you, many priests I know who are only Novus Auto told me within the last days they are now learning traditional Mass. So, boom. Of course, we don't do it against the modernists. Actually, we do it for them because it is we want them to go to heaven too, of course. What we're seeing in America with the drag queens coming into libraries is people are taking up space. They're taking ground. This is a very important social phenomenon. We Catholics used to do processions. If you go to Austria, all over they have outdoor shrines. They have outdoor statues. They have Marian shrines. If you go to Italy, you see this all over. We as Catholics spiritually and physically must take up space in the public square. And what yes. you're seeing going on here in Vienna at this cathedral, in the, with Cardinal Schomborn's permission, is the LGBT agenda is taking up space, not just in the temporal realm, realm, but in the cathedral. This is the same thing with the Pachamama idols. They're taking up sacred space. And so we have to push back and we have to take space. So I would encourage everyone watching, if you don't have in front of your home a Marian shrine, yeah, if you don't have uh, statues and, and icons and crucifixes in your house, you need to put those there. If you own land, put up a cross, put up a statue of Our Lady. We must take back physical space. And I think just having a rosary protest outside the cathedral when this is going on, like Alexander was doing, he's doing that as well. You agree with that, Alexander? I'm sure you do. Of course, of course. It's wonderful. It's exactly what we always did. Yeah. That's yeah. it. It is, and, and just uh, don't forget it. You do not, you do not claim the land for yourself. You claim the land for the one who created it. That's, That's right. so wonderful. Christ the you, King. So you just show the people what is true.